Welcome back, little one. Mummy, where are we? It looks like someone's expecting us. Awfully nice of them to roll out the red carpet. Luca, you need to get one thing straight. Yeah, I know. I won't look after you, so don't screw up. I got things under control. Let's go. Stay next to me, little one. Daddy? What? Daddy! It's Daddy! Daddy? Of course, Mommy. Can't you hear him? Okay, Daddy, I'm coming. And I'll bring Mummy with me. Little one, wait! This way, Mummy! Little one! Little one! Cerecita! Bayonetta! Damn it! Why did I do that? You know, I knew they were gonna come out and I did it anyway. Woo! Oh. a lot better fighting now. What? Woo! That it? Oh no, it ain't. All right. Woo! It's a fire version of them, too. Ah. Oh. Okay. Come on. Come on! Damn! All right. Stay still. Whew. Moving on. Unless somebody else want to play. That's what I thought. Oh, fuck me. I'm not even gonna... Not even gonna mess with him. Oh. 
Whoa! I never seen them transform in the air like that. I ain't know what the hell they were doing. Woo! Uh uh uh. You gotta try harder. Woo! Damn. Woo! What happened? He's tired. Tired! <laughs> open up those doors or uh, open up that gate catch that gate <laughs> let's roll don't mess with them don't mess with them some of the bitches are crazy uh huh ooh <laughs> All right. Woo! Whoa! Oh, this is it for you. Come on. Come on, camera, keep up. Oh, I didn't even see it. Oh, I'm dead. <sighs> the shadow remains calm. All right, all right, round two. Where your friend at? Oh. Come on. More? Moving on? Okay. Green help. I'm shot. Who is it now? Oh no. I hate this one. It's just so slow. Come on, come on. Alright. 
All right, let's go. I can't believe I died on the dancers or whatever. Imposters. What the fuck, you again? You gotta be kidding. I'm tired of fighting you, sir. Guys, we don't fought this man three goddamn times. First time the introduction, second time we will be doing that missile shit. And no, actually, no, four times. First time when when we first fight him. Second time when we go to that that other worldly place, Paradiso. Then when we do the missile shit, and then I'm here again. Do I have to fight him? Yes. Son of a bitch. Fight him? Thank the Lord. Please don't come up here. Please don't come up here. I told you not to come up here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fire. Thank God. Thank you. I'm about to die. Say nah nah. <laughs> huh? Walk on the walls. All right. Let's go. We'll be there in no time. Woo! See now, this is simple. Hi. Okay. Fuck that. I hate that boss. Get in there. Get in there, girl. What's this? Okay. Why do I feel like we're finna go to the moon? <laughs> I don't know. They keep showing us the moon. That's okay, I don't want it. Whatever it is, they can shove it. Oh, never mind then. What in the world? We gonna turn it. We don't even know what it does. What? Um, oh, okay. Woo! 
Oh shit! God damn it! <laughs> shit! Where am I? I don't know. Okay, hang on. Let me try again. Can I get back on? Nice. Woo! Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ugh. Um, we getting on that? I mean, where exactly are we going now? Like, what are we trying to get to? Over there? Seems simple enough. I can make this jump, right? Oh, shit, me. Oh, my God. I'm so glad she got on that motherfucking thing. Oh no, not this. Oh wait, well he's got to be farm. Okay. Volleyball again? What's she say? I watch a lot of. Let go to that elevator. Okay. Hello. Come on, go. Oh man, we got a long way to go up. And yep. Oh my God, the guy that from the fucking ocean. <laughs> My God. Come here, man. Okay. I can't see. I'm about to die. Got it. Ah, ah. Ooh. I thought when they get dragged down the hill, they can't come back. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god. What? That had been pure luck. Hold on, can we? Yeah, I figured. Last one? 
we drop down or up, I can't tell. We drop up. Jesus. Where are we going? Like I said, Bayonetta just follows her heart. There's nowhere else to go but up. Yeah, what's that? Is that a portal? What follows those living in the light is nothing but the profound, empty darkness born from the shadow that grows longer as they approach the brilliant radiance. I guess to truly see, your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? You've arrived, my dear sweet Cereza. My, my, why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So, you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am indeed. My name is Balder, but if you so choose, you may address me as Father. There is much you have forgotten. It has been five hundred years since we last met. If your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reconciliation. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches, have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own eye. This is how our universes... Existence was preserved. However, for five hundred years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. The resurrection of Jubileus. There is but one way to return your epic of forgotten memories and open your eye of the overseer. Your uncorrupted eye had to be exposed to the history it could not see. Ah. Your battles, your struggles, everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I won't ask again. Where did you get the girl? <laughs> you know, some people wear peacock your feathers. Your question has been answered. On their clothes. All this has been done. This to motherfucker got the whole the damn bird eye. on his back. For that, you had to see yourself. Once more. You are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I mark the path to salvation with light. 
However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, the darkness within the human heart grows even darker. Light, dark, and chaos between. Three realities, once split, shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the old. To these ends, leading to the Festival of Resurrection 500 years ago, I fanned the flames of terror, spurring on the witch hunts. However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the Creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity, and now it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world, and a new universe will take over. Puppy! Some Jubileus. I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. I want me some Jubileus, some Jubileus. Great speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures, just like you. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. I'm impressed you like made it here at all. Like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophies. It's fine to investigate. But when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long lost razor was at the bottom of some lake. I granted him his final wish, and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! You are of no use. We don't see about four or five times. However, I am not without dignity. I will allow you to die in the same manner as your father. <laughs> oh well. Well. I guess my plan has gone right out the window. Can't you just use your time stop ability to go save him? Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met John. While she sealed you away and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her tragic end led you directly to me, just as Blair. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear sweet 
Razor. Do not fear your fate. Stand tall, my child. Realize your true potential. Sereza, we are one, my child.